Okay, so this is this is the first part of the felling process, and I've put in what we call a sink or a directional notch or a, a cheese cut or a gob cut or a can't think. There's about a dozen names, um, but what it's doing is it's giving me a nice opening, which when the tree starts to move later on um, will close up and allow the tree to fall forward, and it's also giving me a nice straight line at the back and that's one that I'm going to line up on when I do my back cut so I get a nice parallel hinge and it, as I said before it's the wood that you don't cut that gives you the control over the felling operation so um, and I've aimed this this opening to coincide with the, uh, the nearest thing I've got to a gap in the sky <laughs> to put this tree through so that I can actually get this tree to rest at an angle and not be sitting upright But from now on, I think I'm going to have to get you into a safer place than you're at at the moment. <laughs> bouncing on some branches at the moment but it's resting okay so this is what we would call a hung up tree um, hasn't finished falling to the floor <laughs> and now we've got two options we either have to twist it to dislodge it or we have to move the bottom bit of it outwards until the top can come free and fall to the floor um, but at the moment, what's happening is that the hinge is doing its job of just keeping the tree moving forwards and backwards. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to adjust the shape of the hinge. So instead of it being a sort of bar shape, I'm going to try and make it into a peg shape. And that'll allow me to do some twisting. And hopefully that'll be enough to get the tree to rest against the group over there. And then I'll have a much better chance of scooting the back out. Halfway down, <laughs> so I'm slowly getting there. I'll just make a severing cut here to get the tree off the off the stool.
No, this is a bit like pulling teeth, really. Eventually, it goes. Okay, hooray. <laughs> Good, and what, what always surprises me, even now, is that you can do that, and you can pull a tree all the way down through the canopy amongst other trees, and when you look back, you think, how did that get there? There's no gap. <laughs> there's usually very little damage to the other trees, and, but there's a little gap here next to this ash tree, and to my eyes, that's looking much healthier already. So, um, job done. <laughs> okay.